Okay, guys, so let's get onto our mats and just faff about for a bit. <laughs> and then get yourself into a nice downward dog position. Really breathe up into your sitting bones. And looks like we're going straight in for a headstand practice. So just pop your elbows down and see what happens here. So you can see that I like to play around with uh, doing different things in a headstand. Now there's nothing wrong with going straight into a headstand practice. You can just keep your knees down if you'd rather or stay in a nice child's pose position or even just stay hanging out in your downward dog and really pulsing into those heels and taking nice big full deep breaths so you're feeling good okay so we'll find your way back into downward dog and keep moving and swaying and pulsing and then take a nice big breath reach that right leg up behind you and again open that hip bend the knee inhale open the hip bend the knee so i'm just stretching it up and then out to the side back and around and out to that right elbow and then out to that right elbow again. So see I'm just swinging the leg and then I'm gonna pulse it right up toward the, the wrist until I can put it down. Inhale, windmill those arms all the way around into a nice open warrior two and then extend the side angle. So come all the way around here into a twist and then slowly lift that left arm up and then exhale and come into a nice deep twist right here. So I'm gonna charge some energy into that back heel bending into that front knee really keeping my feet active here as i lift the heart up and away from the hip keeping those shoulders relaxed and then just slowly put those hands down lift the hips do a little dance make a little love <laughs> and then come back into your downward dog so a nice big breath into that seat here you can see what i'm doing i'm just like pressing into the front of my feet and then coming into a plank position so I'm going to do some little spine rolls or bum rolls, you could call it. And then I'm going to do some push-ups, yoga push-ups. They're more enlightened than normal push-ups. And then up into an upward dog, taking it nice and easy and super fluid. Really fluid here in my practice today. And then just keep breathing and lift it back into your downward dog. So take a nice big breath, open the hip and the knee, that left leg's reaching up. Open the hip, bend the knee, reach it up. And then again, nice big breath, opens the hip, bends the knee back behind you. And then we're gonna exhale, we're gonna swing that left leg all the way out to the left elbow. And keep it straight if you can, it doesn't matter if you can't, just play around with that mobility of your hip. And obviously there's lots of strength here. I'm gonna pulse that left foot up to the left elbow. Just play around for a little bit here. Keep breathing nice and deeply. And then put the left foot down, do a little windmill and open up into your warrior two to then extend that left arm back. And then extend the right arm across into your extended side angle here. Uh, do a nice big release and then flip the twist, straightening that left knee if that's possible for you. It doesn't really matter, you could keep your left knee bent if that feels better for you. And then inhale that left arm up and deepen into a, into a nice twist here. This is actually a balance position as well, so if you're feeling pretty wobbly, don't worry about it. Keep pressing into that, that right heel as you reach the crown of the head away and just continue to feel like you're feeling into the spine's twist and then gently release that. Give your hips a bit of a boogie boogie and get your hands down, step back into the downward dog, pulse pulse, sway sway, and then just slowly ripple into a nice plank position here. Do a little boogie, of course. That's the, that's the way to just keep moving through life. Just keep moving. <laughs> Exhale, down we go through that plank and then lift it into your up dog. Exhale back into your downward dog. So this is a nice kind of strong flow, dynamic, really good for energy. So I'm gonna inhale the right leg all the way up for the three-legged dog. Do a couple 
taps, toe taps, and then step it all the way forward into your high lunge here. Nice stretch into those arms, right? And then we're gonna just soften into a nice hip opener. There's a few things you can do, hip opener, just rock it side to side, feeling into the edge. You could put your elbows down if you wanted to. You could put your head down if you wanted to. And then you're gonna step that right foot all the way back and come into a nice back bend side plank. So just kind of lifting through the hips, doing some windmill with those arms, and then just see what it's like to bring that foot all the way forward. See here, I'm making like a star shape, and then I'm gonna gently put that right knee down into a pigeon practice. Bring that left foot all the way around and open the book. That's what I call this pose, opening the book. So that left leg basically reaches away from the left arm. And then I'm gonna put the foot all the way down and come into a full spinal twist. I find these spinal twists just like breathe deeply, really deeply and kind of relax into them. So try not to work it too hard. Just breathe really deeply, look around. And then here I'm gonna kind of practice a side crow so just see what happens if you lift your legs up play around no big deal it doesn't really matter these poses are just all for fun it's all just fun movement and then find your way back into a plank chaturanga lowers you down and then inhale through the up dog and eventually we're going to exhale into that downward dog so let's prepare take a nice big breath and lift that left leg up behind us bend the knee look up and then stretch it out. And again, look up, woo, and look up. <laughs> and then step that left foot all the way forward. Mm -hmm. Come into a nice big high lunge here. So really open your chest up to the ceiling. It's just really good to kind of take a nice big breath and open your body and dance around and just feel good and then drop it into that nice hip opener. You can see here I'm still just like dancing and floating around because we're having our, our two sides are obviously a little bit, there's always like a slight imbalance that we're always like unifying and coming into balance. So being intuitive with your practice is like totally where it's at. Moving around, feeling good, breathing deeply. And the more we do that with regards to eating and people we hang out with, we basically can really come into a balanced state and feel good in our bodies and in our lives. So now we're gonna release that and step that left foot all the way back into a nice side plank and back bending practice. And see how I'm just playing around with bringing that back leg totally off the ground. Seeing what happens, putting it down if I need to, just keep breathing into this, make it fun, make it like a bouquet. And then I'm playing around here, just bringing that left leg all the way up, take a stretch and s expand like a star. It's always about expanding like a star. And then gently bring it into a pigeon practice. Remember in a pigeon or any hip opener, the main thing is that your knees always feel really happy. Your knees are comfy. And then open the book here by releasing the pigeon, grabbing the opposite hand to that back leg or foot, and then opening the right hand away from the right leg. Fix in your chops if you need to. <laughs> and then put that foot all the way down and around and twist a little bit deeper, coming into full spinal twist. Just look around, keep breathing super deeply. Nice and easy does it. Oh, have a boogie, sing along to whatever song. <laughs> is playing and then just slowly release that one there and then I'm going to come into again that side crow so just kind of twist it round bring your thigh on top of the arm and then see if you can balance and then that's about it for us today so from here so my phone actually ran out of storage basically that's all I have for you today. It's always good to finish with a little bit of an intuitive stretch, maybe come into shoulder stand, fish pose, and otherwise just relax and kind of move around, jig it out, and take a nice shavasana, relaxation, corpse pose, final position, just be chilled, be chilled. There's nowhere else to be. You can relax, you can feel good, you can love your life, you're allowed to safe to let go yeah love you guys have a great day peace out